It's a one intersection town in a rural valley, but the hamlet of Edison is home to some of the best eating around. This is my happy place. This is my favorite place in Washington. In my opinion, some of these places are better. And better than in Seattle. Better, better than, than in, in the Seattle. city. It's all good. I'm hungry. Rachel picked three spots for our edible tour, starting with tweets. I would say my favorite restaurant in the whole state. <gasps> The moment you step inside, you feel like you're being wrapped in a warm hug. I want them to feel that they're entering into the community as a member of it. And when they come in and sit down at our tables, they become part of our extended family that a small town is. Servings are plentiful, and the inventive seasonal menu changes almost weekly. We ordered the pork belly made in-house with home-roasted potatoes, kimchi, and tamari soft-boiled egg. Mmm. Mm, that's mm -hmm. so good. I would come back here just for that egg. I can't talk right now. Rachel also recommends the giant desserts. It reminds me of Pee Wee's Playhouse where he had like a giant toothbrush and toothpaste, so I just walk around with like a huge Rice Krispie treat. Today is a good day. Our next stop is the Old Edison Inns. This place has been around since 1900 for over 100 years. It hasn't been in this location. It's kind of moved around, but since the 50s it has been here. So it's kind of an iconic, historic little place in Bow Edison. Our liquor license number is an original number from when they ended Prohibition. These days, the Old Edison features house-infused spirits and farm-to-table food. Like oysters harvested from Samish Island two miles away. The only thing fresher is still swimming in the sea. Oysters are my last meal. I love, love, love really? oysters. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So this is cool because you can have a variety. You can have your fried oysters and then the oyster shooters, which are raw with their homemade cocktail sauce. Mm. Super fresh, mm. really good. They pair great with a cold beer and a competitive game of shuffleboard. I win, I win, I win. <laughs> what is this? That's what a winner does. Yes, yes. So good, it's so good. So we make our final stop on the way out of town. This is the bread farm. Just when you think that you can't put any more food into your body, you start to smell cookies and homemade graham crackers and big loaves of crusty bread. We are open from eight to six and, and we are in production almost 24 hours a day. There's something for everybody here. And virtually everything is made with Skagit Valley ingredients. Of all the fresh baked temptations, Rachel swears by the graham crackers. Graham cheers. cheers. Delicious super buttery stacks of graham crackers. I would come up here just to get that. I would too. It's hard to not fall in love with Bo Edison, a dining destination well worth the trip. Well, enjoy all your treats. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, have a great day. Thank you, Kim and Rachel. Just a quick tip, if you want to go eat in Edison, they only take cash or checks. Yeah, a lot of restaurants are like that these days. That was a dining adventure. It was, it was.